Hello friends and welcome back. We'll continue with our nervous system and we'll continue to move from macroscopic to uh, microscopic structure. So we have been talking about the neurons, the microscopic nerve cells, right? So when they are collected into a macroscopic bundles, they are called nerves that carry electrical messages all over the body. Neuron is a microstructure within the nervous system. Nerve is a macroscopic structure that we can see with the naked eye. And it has the axons and uh, they are like a rock that we reviewed in our previous uh, video. So, as we know that there is a two-way communication from underwriters to field partners to customers and other way around, up and down, back and forth. Just like that we have afferent nerves or the sensory nerves and the efferent nerves or the motor nerves that does communication from central to peripheral nerves, from peripheral to central nerves, so on and so forth. But the neurons in the nerves are the basic functional unit in our nervous system. And then we have a unique stromal tissue that is called neuroglia and we will get into those. What they do, they are the supportive cells. So they help the nervous system against the infection and injury and things like that. But they do not transmit the impulses. So there are various classifications of uh, this uh, uh, glial cells and they are astrocytes, oligodendrocytes, microglia uh, that we see in central nervous system and then swan cells that we see in uh, peripheral nervous system. So we will get into those details one by one. So astrocytes, astrocytes are the what they do, they basically regulate the blood flow in the brain, maintain the composition of the fluid that surrounds the neurons and regulate the communication between the neurons and the synapse. Synapse is the space, remember, that we reviewed before. And how the astrocytes are helpful, they contribute to the formation of the blood-brain barrier, which basically helps to isolate the brain from the potentially toxic substances uh, that we may have in the blood. The another category would be oligodendrocytes and the swan cells. Uh, they are in the central nervous system or, and or the peripheral nervous system, but they both do produce myelin. Uh, that basically what it does, uh, myelin set is around the axons of many neurons. Remember the previous slide where we were looking at the uh, process within the neuron that takes place? And um, these two are basically producing the myelin. Uh, the next one is microglia. Uh, they are related to the immune system. Okay, uh, They help to remove the dead cells and other debris. We do have other categories also, although um, for example the satellite glial cells, uh, their role is still not well understood. Recall why was I saying that we have yet to know and learn how our nervous system works. So satellite glial cells are something um, that requires further investigation, but they act as a protective barrier. Then we have ependymal cells, uh, what they do um, when we talk about heart, we say atria, ventricles, small parts, big parts. Um, in the middle portion of the brain, we have ventricles. So these ependymal cells, they line the ventricles of the brain. Okay, and what they do is they try to uh, promote the circulation of the cerebral spinal fluid that we have inside the ventricles and the spinal canal and we'll get into that uh, later eventually on a separate video but this is just to cover the different cells and the types that we have 
So what we have been talking about um, when we look at under the microscope, uh, the different images can be seen, neuron, microglial cells, astrocytes, ependymal cell, oligodendrocyte, satellite, axon, swan cells, neuron. Yet another view that basically refers to the different types of cells that we have been talking about. And in the glial cells, uh, we have swan cells, oligodendrocyte, microglial. Again, um, different ways to look at the, the cells to better understand how they look. And if we have to conclude or summarize, um, we can say that the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system, typically these are the two over there and these are the four that we see in the uh, central nervous system. So uh, we have a lot to cover on the central nervous system. So this is about the different type of cells and the neurons and the nerves. We'll move on when we meet again. Take care. Bye-bye.